Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about five simple plasticity tools that can speed up your workflow and help you make complex shapes quickly and easily. Now, these aren't the only tools that will do this, but if you're new to plasticity and you're just getting started, I suggest you check out some of our getting started content. I'll leave some links in the description. But if you've been playing around with plasticity for a little while and you're looking to speed up your workflow, hopefully these tools will help. Now, the first tool is offset. This is a pretty straightforward one. O on the keyboard allows us to offset the geometry, and then we can do things like pull it through, make a complete hollow section in the middle of the body. We can also use it to create uh, external sections. So let's say we bring this in, and then we pull this face out. We can add new geometry or remove it quickly and easily. So this is a great tool and a great way that we can split up existing geometry. It doesn't have to be planar, in this case, flat faces. It could have curvature and it'll still allow us to create those offsets. In addition to that, the isoparam tool, so control and R, allows us to divide up faces and I'm gonna hold down the shift key and we can create new divisions. And once again, we can pull those up into 3D. So offset and isoparam, in addition to standard tools like the line tool with the knife option, which is K, we can hit K on the keyboard and we can slice this up. So this is a couple of different ways that we can use these types of tools to split it up. So offset is the first tool. Isoparam with sort of a nod to the knife tool in the curves menu is the second option. The third option is using move, rotate, and scale. Now, we oftentimes think of move, rotate, and scale if we want to take the entire object and move it around in screen. But what I'm talking about here is actually taking an edge and moving an edge to create new geometry. So this is a great way that we can play around. I'm gonna go ahead and move this one in Y. Playing around with using tools like the knife tool, isoparam, and even offset, and then using move or rotate to change the geometry. So if we want to, for example, let's go ahead and select these two faces. We're gonna use R to rotate, and we can change the angle of that upper section. So with just a few clicks, we're able to make complex geometry that otherwise would take us a lot of construction planes and curves. And simply we just use offset, knife tool, as well as isoparam to break things up. Now, another tool that I wanna talk about is really more of a shortcut, and that's the use of Alt and Control and Alt. So when we hold down the Alt key, what this is gonna allow us to do is select a chain of edges. Now these chains of edges don't necessarily need to have tangency. So up here, for example, we can select both of these edges together. If we use Control and Alt, we'll be able to select an, an entire loop of edges. So this is a great way to simplify the selection process for doing things like adding fillets or chamfers around a model. And if you need to do this with multiples, so you can hold down the Control and Alt key and then Shift, Control and Alt if we need to grab the other side and we can round everything off at the same time. So once again, that's not really a tool, but a shortcut key. The last thing that I wanna talk about is Boolean. Now, Boolean is something we use all the time to combine bodies together or to remove a body. But what I wanna talk about it here is in the context of intersect. Now, it's one version of the Boolean tool I don't think gets used very much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this up and you can see that we cut through the model. This is the typical thing that happens when we Boolean something. But if we instead are going to use the Boolean tool, and we'll go ahead and pull this, uh, we'll pull this up. And instead of doing a cut, we use Shift E and intersect. What this allows us to do is keep only portions of the design where things overlap. So for example, if we want to make this smaller and we just want a little bit of a peak there, right click. Now we're able to make this geometry by using that Boolean intersect. So these are just a handful of tools. Obviously there are a ton more, but continue to play around with things like offset, isoparam, and the knife tool, using move, rotate, and scale on geometry instead of entire objects, using alt and control alt for selecting edges or edge loops, and then the Boolean intersect option when you're creating new geometry. These will help you create complex geometry parts pretty quickly without having to do a lot of extra work creating curves, creating new sketches, and building out your geometry piece by piece. So play around with these. If you have any other tools that you like to use all the time that help speed up your workflow, please leave a comment and let me know. And remember, if you are looking to purchase Plasticity, we are an affiliate. You can use the code LEAD10 at checkout, and that'll save you 10%. 
If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.